So, here it is, heavily desired amongst drum programmers worldwide. Here it finally is, MIDI Remap, native plugin version, version 1.0. I'm just gonna do a quick demonstration of what this plugin is capable of. I have some drums programmed right here. With uh, Get Good Drums Invasion. And let's say I wanna use this exact drum part with another library. For example, let's try addictive drums. Okay, um, the notes are messed up. Let's try easy drummer. Okay, notes are messed up. Let's try superior drummer. Sorry. Okay, notes are messed up. Maybe let's try modern massive. Ah, also doesn't work. Okay, let's try it again. Let's choose Get Good Drums Invasion as our source and Addictive Drums as our target in, inside MIDI Remap. And now, listen to it again. Woo! Okay, nice. Um, then let's try Easy Drummer. Um, we have to change the target to Tune Track Easy Drummer 3. Let's listen to it. Also fucking works! This is so fucking amazing. I mean, I developed the plugin, but I'm still really, really, really happy to have it. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try Superior Drama. Um, to Superior Drama. Joy the Jord. Yeah, Joy Jord is a kid. Oh no, let's try Bogren. Crim Trumps. Ah, oh. beefy snare. Also works. Last but not least, let's try Modern Massive. On this track, I changed the internal mapping. I used the GM mapping instead of the default mapping. Um, and therefore, I have to choose Get Good Drums. Oh, so many Get Good Drums. Um, I changed it to internal mapping GM. Let's listen to it again. Ah, that sounds great. Also, more complex stuff like this fill right here should work perfectly. Let's see. Yep. Let's check this again with, for example, Bow Grand. Ah, that's so fucking satisfying. So now let's unlock the full potential of this. Um, let's say you found a new library you want to use, but you want to make small adjustments or big adjustments. For example, let's say uh, the new library doesn't have a China and you use the China. So MIDI Remap already is smart enough to find a nice fallback. For example, uh, use a Crash 3 instead of the China, but maybe you want to use the Splash. I'm going to show you how to do it in Studio One. I'm going to do more videos. It's basically going to be similar in other DWs. So in this case, in Studio One, simply record and enable track if you haven't already and record the part you want to change or if you want to change or transfer the whole part to the new library, maybe simply set up a high BPM and record the full track. Okay, so now we transfer to the Bokran track. So it's no longer running through MIDI Remap. We have unlocked the full potential and can now do something like that. I think in the original, the hi-hat open two and GGD sounds a little bit more open. So for Bokran, I'm gonna use the four. And also the upstrokes were a little bit too loud for my taste. So let's listen to it again. Yeah. And just in case you're wondering why I don't have to mess with this kind of bullshit and guessing which note is which sample and how long which note should be, simply head to midiremap.com and download our awesome drum maps. I'm gonna do some more videos showing how to set up MIDI Remap in Cubase, Reaper, Logic, Studio One. There are different approaches inside DAW, for example, Logic and Reaper make it super easy to use MIDI Remap. Um, Studio One, it's one or two more clicks, but it's if you get the hang of it, you it's the same approach in most DAWs. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make your life super easy. Check out all the drum libraries with old drums you programmed or new stuff you programmed or inside a mix, check out new drums. It's going to be awesome. It's going to make your life super, super easy. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.